confirming the date and time of this interview. Today is the 29th of April, 2023. This interview is being recorded at the current time being 10.33 a.m. Uh, good day, sir. Please, can you introduce yourself? Well, my name is uh, Chukuma Abuna. And uh, just for the record, this interview is doing okay by me. Nobody forced me, nobody influenced me. I'm doing this based on my own volition. Can you please tell us your relationship with your wife? <sighs> mm. I met my wife when she was a student. No. I was there when she needed me, always available, took care of her school, all her financial needs. You know, so our relationship is based on the, the solid foundation of love, happiness, honesty and and open communications. You know, sometimes uh, I will always believe that uh, she's been truthful and we have uh, some potential um, issues to discuss. You know, so... Um, Did you ever suspect that your wife was having an affair with her ex? Well, um, no, I did not. I trusted my wife very much and uh, most times I always think that uh, jealousy, is, uh, jealousy and suspicion are not uh, a healthy um, situation for a relationship. So I tried as much as possible to avoid it. To answer your question, if uh, I suspected my wife cheating on me with her ex-boyfriend. Well, the answer is uh, no. I never did. Whatever suspicions I had, you know, was um, have been could have been a false assumption, you know. And um, but sadly, it's not so. That's not the case. Um, have you or... Okay, let me just put it correctly. Mm -hmm. Do you regret getting married? Oh, well, the... Uh, no. I did not regret it. I didn't regret anything of getting married. But sometimes I used to think that marriage is very scary. Sorry? Very scary. Scary? Yeah. Oh. I used to be very scared of, of marriage because you thought that you've had all figured out. But you now realize that all along you've been blindfolded. You're blindfolded. When it comes to this uh, um, paternal fraud and what comes with it, you realize that um, it really doesn't want it sometimes. It doesn't want it. Um, so, sir, you mentioned paternity or, or rather paternal fraud. So, what I want to ask now is how does it make you feel? How, what, what do you feel? The paternal fraud has made me realize how I feel betrayed and hurting. Have you ever cheated on your wife? Yes, I remember. Look, see, I'm not a saint. I'm not claiming to be one. I remember during our dating period, I had a fling once or twice, and uh, I regretted why I did that. You know, I betrayed our trust. That's uh, was it during the marriage or? No, while you were dating. While, while, while we were dating. Okay. While we were dating, yes. Okay. 
So I, uh, I promised that I will never do that again. That was even what led us to take a vow and uh, let's get married, which we did. Uh, since Ever since I got married, I laid off all the women in my life. So I would, at this point of the interview, I would like to say that you're free to respond or not to respond to any of my questions and then we can proceed to the next. Okay, sir. It's okay. 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 Um, so um, the next question I would like to ask, since this happened, have you gone home? Have you been to your house? Because mm. I remember at the time um, this prank thing came up, the very day I spoke to you, you said you intentionally stayed away from the house. So yes, I actually tried. I went home once. But when I got there, the memories, the trauma, I, I couldn't I couldn't stand it, so I left. Uh, I don't think I don't think I'll be going back there so soon. So, so when you got home, didn't you speak to your wife or did the children not? I think the children are in school. I didn't meet my wife. You know, there's nobody at home. Okay. Nobody at home. Okay. You see, well, let me let me let me let me ask you. Put yourself in my shoes. Hmm? You were a father to three children yesterday. You woke up suddenly. You are no longer a father today. To the same kids. Do, do you know? Do you know how bad? Do you know how terrible that can be in a man's life? I've labored, lived my life for these children, lived my entire life for my wife. So the children I called my own are no longer my children today. God, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Mom, Papa, what, 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 what will I say to my friends? I'm no longer a father. <clears throat> oh, God. 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 <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay, sir. Uh, uh, sorry. For, forgive me, please. It's, no, sir, it's fine. Mm -hmm. it's, it's okay. Just take your time. Are you, sir? Are you okay to continue? I'm okay now. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. When we talked, because uh, I tried to reach you for a while, I couldn't reach you. And when we talked, you told me that you saw the comments online and all of that. So, in as much as it's not the best time, I would just want a few things. If you, like I said, feel free to respond or not to respond. Can we proceed, sir? No, 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 go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Um, there's been rumors. I mean, um, persons, I, I believe you saw the comments because you mentioned that when we spoke the last time that you read a lot of comments and that's why you said you wanted to come and speak your truth. So, some persons, so moving forward, some persons have said that it's possible that you are infertile and that is the reason for your wife's infidelity. What do you have to say about it? People are entitled to their own opinion. Right? I don't have any comment on that. No comment? Okay. Okay, sir. All right. So, sir, I want you to... Please, of course, like I said, feel free um, to answer it or not. When you came over to meet me for the prank, you told me that you had done some investigations prior to that. Uh, can you throw some light on that? Um, well, uh, I actually engaged a firm, a private investigator to to investigate my wife when I started suspecting 
some unusual behavior. I spent 1.5 billion naira on that issue. I was duped. At the end of the day, I did not get the investigation. Did not yield anything. They didn't tell me anything. Nobody came back to tell me anything. So it was my friend who now told me how or a Valentine prank was done on a on a newlywed. And, uh, okay, the Valentine prank. You yes, saw the video. I saw the video. He told me about it and I looked at it. I, it took me time to think about it. I said, I hesitated, but I said, okay, let me just give it a try. That was how I decided to meet you. Okay. Yeah. Why did you um, not simply do a DNA test? Because I remember suggesting that to you the first time you came to see me. Why did you not do a DNA test? Well, sincerely, I had my suspicion, but I decided to just go with the video prank, you know, thinking, okay, on a norm, if you ask my wife, she would deny it. Sorry, sorry sir, are you saying that if you had done a DNA test, your wife would still have denied it? She would. Remember I told you earlier that my wife left me on the bed, was on phone call at the balcony? Yeah, yeah, I remember. That same week, my son called me from home that he couldn't gain access to the house. I was wondering because she was supposed to send key to them to enter the house. And I decided to call her to find out where she is. Her phone was switched off. Mm -hmm. wow. That was very suspicious. Why was the phone switched off? Then I left everything that I was doing at the site and rushed back to the house to open the door for the children. That was when I decided to go along with the prank. When I saw the video, I was very curious to see what is in there because I didn't know what to expect. Tried downloading it, it took some time, and uh, when it eventually came, my whole life was crashing in front of me. You know, my hands started shaking, I started sweating. It's like if blood was from my heart going straight to my head, I almost gave up. I didn't know all along my wife was cheating on me. My wife was cheating on me. My own wife came home with somebody's children that are not mine. I tried to reason with myself, how did I do this? Who, who, who will I tell? How do I tell my parents? How do I tell my how do will I tell my friends that the children that caused the father are not my children? Can you imagine that? <laughs> that my, my beautiful children are not mine. That I've been spending money and love on these kids. <laughs> So, sir, uh, prior to this, were there any warning signs that your wife was cheating on you? Yes. There were some red flags I should have paid attention to. But I didn't. Like, she started keeping her distance from me. She stopped showing affection. And she started keeping late nights and says she's at work. I didn't get it. Those were those are the red flags, and and and, and 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 I just ignored them. Um. So, sir, do you plan to work out things with your wife? I mean, with all that has happened so far. How could I? After all she has done to me. No, no. I can never forgive her. 
I still try to come to the terms of what she has done to me. You say if I ask, no, 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 I can't. Sometimes, but last time she Sorry. sent a message. So, um, Sarah, do you plan on working things out with your wife? No, not after what she has done, what she has put me through. Cheating is bad enough. Not cheating and bringing back home children. No, no, no. No, no, no. No. Uh, so, so, okay. So we give you some time, sir. <sighs> okay, so sir, uh, the two children that are not alleged to be yours, um, what plans do you have? Do you intend to take them as your children still? No, no plans. No plans at all. Even the one she claimed is mine. I'm going to do a DNA on that one. At this point, I don't trust anything that she said to me. So, sir, um, after seeing the whole video and everything that has happened and the fact that it's been put out there, even with the names and all that, do you have any regrets? I mean, from the very first time you made contact with me? No. No regrets. No. All that has happened has torn me apart. Just c Finished me. Everything that you did on that video and whatever it is. <laughs> it's on me. It's on me. No regrets. She has really finished me. She has finished me. Sir, is there anything you'd like to say to your wife? Hmm. Dora. Can you make? Hmm? Can you make? What have I done to you? Eh? Yeah. It will come a war. Thank you. Hmm? Thank you for killing me. <laughs>